Well, gracious greetings, St. Stephen family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for a Thirsty Thursday. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, last week we talked about the same old, same old and how to overcome apathy and boredom, complacency uh, that then could lead to distression and depression. Uh, and we want to kind of continue along that same vein uh, when we do get sick and tired of being sick and tired of things. Uh, prayerfully, the takeaway will be that of a somewhat of a little riddle. Uh, hopefully you can figure out this riddle. And that is what has three colors and tries to control your life? Uh, the scripture that I wanted to read today comes from Luke, the ninth chapter, the 23rd verse. And it says, and he said unto them all. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now, a powerful passage here. We know we're reading in the red. It's Jesus Christ talking to his disciples, challenging us to surrender, lay down and follow him. Uh, now, we talked about the takeaways that we wanted to have. and We said it's a riddle. I don't know if you've come up with the answer yet. Uh, what has three colors and tries to control your life? What is it? Well, here it is. Yeah, the traffic light. So today we're going to talk about the traffic light of life. Yeah, life can be just like a traffic light, especially when we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, that sick and tired of being sick and tired typically comes from the one we want to talk about first, which is the yellow. What does the yellow mean? The yellow typically means caution, right? But that caution is about a decision. It means you're in between something and you need to decide what you're going to do. Same way with life. In the midst of COVID, in the midst of physical health issues, in the midst of financial issues or marital issues or issues with being single or parental issues or social issues, political issues, uh, there's things that have come and now a decision needs to be made. And sometimes the reason that we are sick and tired of being sick and tired is because we haven't moved from the yellow to red or green. Uh, we've just stayed in that place of caution. We've stayed in that place of decision so long that we get to that place where we say enough is enough. I'm, I'm tired of this. I can't take any more. Uh, as Popeye used to say, I can't take any more. That's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. And we're in that place. Well, the challenge here as we move to the next color, which is red, is we have to learn there may be some things in our life to get over being sick and tired that we have to stop. And that's exactly what that means in that traffic light when we see red. It means stop is mandatory. It's not optional. It is compulsory. It is something we have to do for not only the safety of ourselves, but for others. And so there's some things in our life uh, you may need to stop going certain places that you go. You may need to stop doing certain things that you do. You may need to stop saying certain things that you say in order to move from that stuck place of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Obviously, the next one is the green. And we know the green means to proceed or to go. It means to leave, right? It means to move on. That is the green. And so there are some things we need to start doing. There's some things we need to put in place, but more importantly, there's some things we need to leave and always understanding, you know, if I'm leaving something, I should be going towards something at the same time. I shouldn't just be out there wandering. But the whole point of this connecting with a traffic light is to understand we're gonna be sick and tired if we hang out in the yellow. Remember, the yellow light is the shortest between the red and the green. We, we spend more time at the red part of the light and the green part of the light than we do the yellow part. But in our lives, not necessarily the case. We spend more time in indecision that frustrates us. And sometimes if we're not careful, we, like we talked about last week, can move us to a place of apathy, uh, boredom and complacency, which then can produce the distression and the depression that we spoke of. So in this text, the key words is let him deny himself. And that is the big piece. Get the view off of me. 
and actually look to God. But when he says look to God, he says take up the cross. And the cross is actually that word staros means death. And so it means sacrifice my will, my choices, my desires for the wills, choices and desires of Christ. And so things really change when I start making my decisions, when I start stopping or starting based on Christ's will rather than my will. Then I'm not sick and tired because how do I get sick and tired of this next piece here of daily following Christ? Yeah, that daily word is critical as well because daily actually speaks to this thing doesn't just happen every now and then. It isn't seasonal. It's that thing that happens every single day. I have to make a choice to lay down my will and to pick up God's will, not be in the place of indecision of which one I will follow today, but to stop my thing and to start doing God's thing. That is really what it's all about. If I want to stop being sick and tired of being sick and tired. The scripture that I want to close out with comes from Galatians, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. You may have read it before and it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season, we will reap if we faint not. I pray that in fact, you are no longer sick and tired of being sick and tired because you're gonna start what you need to start and you're gonna stop what you need to stop. Continue to make God proud in all you say, think, and do, and tune in next week as we talk about, I want more. God bless you, make it a great week.